Hey everybody, it's Karen with Food and Family. We're calling this Uncut. I'm making smothered pork chops with mashed potatoes and some gravy. And we're going to have a broccoli salad to go with it. Right now I'm getting my pork chops ready. I have three beautiful chops here today. And I'm just using a little bit of salt and pepper on them. That's the only seasoning I'm using today. So I'm going to get these. I've got my oil heating up in my pan. So I'm going to get some flour on these. And we're going to give them a good coating of flour. How's everybody been? Have y'all... Have you been affected by these fires, the smoke from these wildfires coming from Canada? Um, we're starting to see some haze here from it, and it's coming down. I talked to a dear, dear friend of mine in Delaware today, and she said that they've got a lot of smoke that came in last night. And it was really bad. It's kind of put a hamper on some of our plans. We were headed that way for vacation. And um, so it's kind of put a hamper on it. We don't want to go up that way with the smoke. And with my asthma, uh, we just can't do it because I don't need to be breathing it. So, but if you are being affected by it, I certainly will keep you in my prayers and hope that it will go away soon. And if we can get some good rain, that would help, I'm sure. All right, so let's get this started. My oil is not hot enough yet. So I'm going to set these aside. See how I coated these with my flour? And uh, let me rinse my hands. Y'all are getting it all today. You're going to see everything I do. Now I've taken the liberty of going ahead and cutting up my potatoes and I've got them back there boiling. So, but while we're waiting, I've got an onion that I cleaned up and I'm going to slice it up. Don't you just love my knife drawer? I love it. I'm going to cut these onions up because I'm going to put these in the pan after we get these pork chops browned and I'm going to put some bell peppers in it. So while we're waiting on that to heat up, I'm also going to go ahead. Let's go ahead and make up our um, broccoli salad. I have some broccoli florets I bought and uh, instead of just buying the head, I took the easy way out and just bought the florets. So, get rid of that. Now, I like to cut off these great big stems. Do you cut them off or you leave them on? Oh, they're very good for you. Um, you know, and if you wanted, put them aside. You can make your vegetable stock with it. Throw in some carrots and onions and some other things. And you've got to have a good, good vegetable stock. But these bigger pieces, I'm, I'm cutting down because they're just too big. So, let's get these cut up. It won't take but a minute. Listen, it don't take but a minute to throw supper together. And I'm sure your family, like mine, Pop Jones, he just loves to come in from work and see that I have cooked dinner. He loves nothing better than my cooking. We have both decided that eating out is just as expensive and it's just not as good as it used to be. We used to love to go out and eat. We still do. We just don't eat out as much as we used to. So let's get this cut up. There's not that much to cut. You can break it apart if you want to. I just think cutting it's a little quicker. How is the temperatures at your house? Um, it got really warm here. And we went up for a few days this past week up to um, 
near 90. And uh, actually, I think there was a couple of days we went over 90. But right now, we had a little rain come through earlier. Sun's out now. And kind of cooled it off just a little bit. But I'm glad it did because I wanted some rain on my on my vegetables. You know, you can water them all day long, but there's nothing like a good rain on your vegetables to make them grow and your flowers. All right. So there we go. Let me get this out of the way. Get these old stems. I keep a bag like a a grocery bag near when I'm cooking and uh, put my scraps in. All right, that oil is almost hot. So I've got another little piece of onion. I didn't use that whole one. So I'm going to cut this up. I'm going to dice it up. Don't want it too small. I don't want it too large either. I want to know. I've got a little onion in it. Now, I've got a white onion. If you've got a red onion, that would be perfect. Red onion has, to me, has a little bit of sweetness in it. Or if you have like a Vidalia, ooh, wouldn't that be good in it? But any kind of onion works. My sister used to be, when she was still alive, she would be the one that made the broccoli salad. And any time we got together, if it was a holiday or just because, she made a broccoli salad. And there was one year she was trying to up her game a little bit and she put raisins in it. And for the raisin lovers, that's fine, but none of us cared for it. So we said, oh, please don't do that again. And she didn't, but she was always our broccoli salad lady. Oh, I'm putting this in and that stew is starting. Yes, it's hot. Let's get that in there. Now, keep in mind, I'm going to give these a good browning. And I'm going to get them as done as I can. I'm not worried if I don't get them completely done. Let me set this out of the way. We're done with it. And uh, because it's going to continue cooking after we take this up. Those up. I think I'm going to pour off some of that oil. I don't need quite that much oil. And uh, we're going to cook the veggies. So we don't want that much oil in them. Let's finish our broccoli salad. Okay. So now we want to put in some bacon bits. And yes, I'm using these packaged ones. Because I have been busy today. And... I haven't had time to just cook up some bacon. So I wanted a quick meal. And this is quick to make. And using packaged bacon bits just helps it even more. Less for me to clean up, right? Now, ranch dressing. What do you use on yours? We love ranch dressing on ours. And that is if I can figure out how to open it. There we go. I thought. Yeah, that got it. What do you use on yours? Do you make your own dressing? I bet a good coleslaw dressing would be good. I like to make coleslaw dressing sometime. And, um... I'll mix mayonnaise, and I'll put a little bit of sugar in it. Have you ever done that? And a little vinegar. I like it. And it's not thick and gloopy. It's a little bit on the thinner side. I should have made this earlier and put it in the refrigerator, but I wanted you to see how I made it. And I have made broccoli salad before. And y'all go check out my my video on it. And I showed you how to make a homemade ranch dressing. That I got the recipe from a very, very dear friend of mine. And uh, I go on the radio show with him sometime. And his name is Will. 
so y'all check it out look there how simple is that now that's a good side dish isn't it pretty now i'm not going to put any salt on it uh we can salt it at the table when we make our plates oh uh, i personally don't think it needs salt i'm sorry i'm having to move a couple of things to get it in the refrigerator I just personally don't think it needs a lot of salt. It's got uh, that dressing and the bacon in it. So it doesn't need a lot of salt. Let me get a plate to put those pork chops on. And something to pour that excess oil in. Because we know we don't need that much oil, right? your plans for this summer with the kids out of school if you have children um are you planning some vacations we don't have children in school or just our grandchildren but uh we're planning some trips and i tell you what i just can't wait i am ready to go somewhere and i know Pop Jones is ready. He needs a few days off. And get him some rest. Everybody needs that, don't you? Don't you know it? Just see. I'm gonna be, I've got a sink of hot soapy water here, guys. I've told y'all that numerous times. I always keep some. And uh, I keep my cloth nearby my washcloth so I can keep my surfaces wiped down. Yeah, I have a couple of videos that um, I've got scheduled to come out um, Saturday morning and then another one Wednesday. And Saturday morning, it's going to be a peanut butter pie. And I certainly hope you'll watch it and enjoy it. And then Wednesday, this is what I'm planning, and uh, unless I decide to change the days, but if you hit that notification bell, you're going to know about it. But the next one I've got is a cheesy hamburger goulash. I got in the kitchen, and I decided I wanted to make something, and it's kind of a cross between a goulash and a hamburger helper. And I didn't have a recipe, I just started throwing stuff together, and uh came out very good so i hope you'll try that i have got to have a drink of water guys give me a second my throat's dry i want to show you something while i'm on here <laughs> a dear dear subscriber texted me the other day and she had sent me something that I never received. And my fault, I had mistyped my P.O. box. I dropped a digit. And it's 675, and I had left off the 5. So I never received it, so she resent it. And she, watching one of my videos, she heard us singing Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. And we were talking about Olive the other reindeer and she sent me that little movie can you see that isn't it so cute and uh, I certainly appreciate that and I just want to tell her again thank you so much and uh, how much we appreciate it that was thoughtful of her thinking you guys are just so good to us and thinking about us and sending us things and um uh, I've got another package I've got to go to the post office and pick up tomorrow when it arrives. I've already got notification that it's arriving tonight. So I'm anxious to see what that is. But can you see that beautiful sunshine out there? I got out this morning and um, close to lunchtime. And went to the grocery store. Miss Patchy needed some treats. And 
I needed to pick up a couple of things and I was just trying to pay attention and I was thinking about all the wildfires in Canada and the smoke that it's bringing down and I could see some of the haze and uh, it's my understanding I was told that it's a little bit thicker up in North Alabama and uh, I don't know how much longer it's gonna gonna last we were looking forward to going up we we're going to Virginia and uh, but we, we just don't want to get in that we want to go when we can enjoy and actually see things and it not be hindered by the smoke I don't know maybe we'll head south we'll just have to see about that I'm going to check my potatoes while I'm standing here. I just got a little knife that I just don't. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, they're done. Let's get these potatoes whipped up. What do you say? Be careful because it's hot. I just cut my potatoes, not in too large a chunks, and uh, try to keep them as close to the same as I can, because I want them to cook the same period of time. I said, what do I need? And uh, covered them with water, and I salted my water. Because potatoes, I'm walking in a circle here, aren't I? Potatoes love salt. You've heard me say that many of times. I'm going to put some butter in here. We love butter. You see my towel, my tea towel. There's no such thing as too much butter. Another one of my amazing subscribers sent that to me. All of you are amazing. I just love each and every one of you. And I love hearing from you. Oh, what the heck, let's put a little bit more. Milk, I need some milk. And you know what else I'm gonna do? <laughs> yeah, I should know. I've got a little sour cream. Let's put some sour cream in it. We about use this carton up so we won't be wasting it, right? I'm just going to use my hand mixer. Let me get another drink of water. Hmm. I just have a good old glass of cold water. You see how those uh, pork chops are browning? That is almost ready to turn over. All right, so let's get these potatoes blended up. Potatoes, potatoes. Who, how do you say it? Tomato, tomatoes. Somebody said something one time about the way I said tomatoes. I see it how it comes out. Boy, those were so soft, it's not taking anything to uh, whip them up. It's not going to take a lot of milk either. Ooh, these are going to be so good. I love mashed potatoes. Y'all know I love potatoes anyway. And you know, if you want to, you could put some black pepper in there. Uh, much as we love black pepper, you know, we, we prefer our mashed potatoes without pepper. I know, it's kind of strange, isn't it? I'm going to get a spoon and taste them because I want to make sure i got enough salt in them. And potatoes is something that you can 
salt after the fact. There's some things that you just have to cook it with the salt or you'll never get it seasoned. Beans is one of them. Mm -hmm. They're perfect. Now I'm going to put the lid on and I'm going to put them right back here on the stove. And when Pop Jones gets home, I'm going to make sure that they're warm enough. And if they've cooled off too much, then all I have to do is add a little milk and turn them on, watch them, so they don't scorch. Let me get rid of my knives. I think we're done with them. If we're not, we'll... We'll get, in the, get them again, right? I have been thinking. Tell me what you think. Give me some ideas. I have been thinking I want to do a live cooking. And when I say that, not just me being live, but you guys cook along with me. What do you think about that? Let's pick a very simple dish that we can all do together and uh, get the ingredients. I can't do it this week or next, over the next couple of weeks, but I'd like to do it soon. So y'all send me some ideas and on a, uh, something easy and simple and delicious that we can all cook together. And we'll set a date and a time and uh, we just have our stuff ready and we'll start cooking. That sound good? It does to me. When we go, I'm, I'm hoping we'll get to go. We're supposed to leave Saturday. And uh, I'm going to try to do a couple little short videos while I'm gone. Dep I don't know where we're going yet. But, um, and I'm thinking my heart's telling me we probably need to postpone and wait but who knows if we go south we won't have to I don't think uh, we'll have some ideas down south where we want to go and uh, so we're going into Florida and down one idea we've tossed around today was going to Key West I have never been to Key West and you know, that is something that's on my bucket list. There are several things that's on my bucket list. And that's one of them. And I'm excited about it. I'm hoping we can do something like that. If not this time, very soon. But y'all talk to me. Tell me what you think. Give me some ideas. Have you ever been to Virginia? We are going to Virginia. Uh, we just can't do it right now because of that. But we want to go to Williamsburg. We know that. And Virginia Beach. We know that. And uh, But we don't know anything else that's there. All we know is what we've researched and looked at online. So y'all tell me about them. Uh, tell me what's up there. If, if you're from that area or know anything about it, let me know. And now, uh, help us out here. Because we're going to start going places. And uh, we get back from this vacation, we will start planning next year's. I want to take a cruise. We've done one cruise, and we want to do another one. And uh, I just don't know where we want to go. Last time we went to Jamaica, then to Cozumel. Oh, I'm sorry, to, from Jamaica to Grand Caymans and then to Cozumel. And we went in and out of New Orleans. And uh, we thoroughly enjoyed it. And it was so nice on the ship. But uh, I want to do that again. There's so many places that I want to go. I have a friend in Scotland. Hey, Angie, if you get to watch this... Um, that I'd give anything to be able to go over there and say, uh, I don't know that I'll ever get to make it over there, but that would be a dream come true for me. Maybe one day I can do that. It's 
seems like it's taking a long time, but it's really not to cook these up. I just love cooking this meal. And today I was looking at something online and I saw where I had made these a few years ago, actually, it's been. And it popped up and I thought, oh, I want to make that today. So I had everything to do it. Let me put what little bit of sour cream I have left. Let's put it up. So we want to keep it good and fresh, right? And I have some tea. So I'm going to go ahead and get that out. I like to have everything out and ready. Um, you know, that's the thing to do. And I'm going to go ahead and set out my plates and get us out a fork and a knife. Dinner comes together quick when you prepare ahead and clean up as you go. I can't stress that enough. I love to clean up as I go. And that way, when I'm through eating, when I was to rinse off our dishes, throw them in the dishwasher, and we're done. Kitchen's cleaned. And I don't have to stand up or him. A lot of times he'll do the dishes. He is so good to me. And uh, we won't have to stand up after we've eaten, got our bellies full, and then we want to sit down and rest because we eat too much. <laughs> we like to get out in the evenings and sit out on the deck. And we have been hearing some of the strangest noises in the woods behind us. And uh, I think they're coyotes or owls and or owls last night we were out and trying to go over our itinerary and we started hearing what is that but back behind us through the woods is uh, what we call a chert pit and uh, the county used to use it to go back there and get the chert and all for whatever reason they needed it but a lot of times school's out and down teenagers will get back there and they'll party a little bit there's nothing that they hurt. They just get back there and get together. And you can hear them, especially at night when it's, um, you know, it's quiet. But we, we've lived here since 1987, and we just love it. We just love it. Our dream is to move to the lake one day, but... I don't know that we ever will. If we move to it, then we wouldn't be able to go visit. We'd be there all the time, wouldn't we? I want to pour off some of that oil. And you know, I think I'm going to... Now, give me a second while I do that. I'm going to put these back in because I want to get them a little bit browner. We, we're not going to leave behind these crusties, I can tell you that. Look at there. That's going to crisp up, and that's going to go back on our pork chops or into our gravy one. I have my wet cloth, and I am just going to pour this oil off. And I want to wipe that grease off of my pan where I poured it. There we go. Now I'm going to let that sit there a minute because it is boiling hot. Now I'm going to put these pork chops back in that pan. But see what's going to happen is when I'm going to pour some broth in this in, in just a few minutes. And... The flour where I floured those pork chops is going to help. And it's not going to be a thick gravy like you think of gravy like with biscuits and stuff like that. But it's the sauce, more like a sauce. If you've ever had smothered pork chops or chicken, you know what I'm talking about. And uh, But the flour from that and then these little, what I call the crispies that I took out of the pan, that's going to help thicken it up. But you know what I'm going to do? 
we got some butter left over. And y'all know if it's sitting here, it calls my name. I'm going to put that in there. And that is going to make such a good sauce. I haven't made smothered pork chops or chicken in ages. And Pop Jones is going to be surprised when he gets home and sees this. Can you smell it? I want you to smell it. I'm fanning it your way. I'm excited. And y'all know me. It doesn't take much to excite me when I'm cooking and food. I just, I love to cook. I've cooked since I was a young girl. And I grew up by my mama in the kitchen and uh, she would cook, and I was standing there with her, and I just loved it. And uh, I know I've probably told you all this before. And then it would just get to the point where I got bigger, and I'd say, Mama, let me cook, and you wash the dishes. There were seven in our family. And uh, I didn't like doing dishes. So she says, that's a deal. And because she'd rather done dishes than cook. And uh, so we do that. And then I spent a lot of time with my grandmother, my granny. And uh, I learned a lot from her, too. She was one of the best cooks that I've ever known in my life. And uh, i tell you what I'm going to do. So I'm letting those brown on up. Because you know, I said I'm not worried about them being done. And truthfully, they may be done all the way. Anyway, does not take pork chops long to cook. I'm going to go ahead and put some of this onion in here. And I'm going to put some, remember the peppers and onions. And that makes smell so good when I open that up. They're frozen, so that little moisture that's from them is causing it to do that. But you know it's going to cook off. So it'll be okay. I'm going to stick this back in the fridge freezer because I don't want them to thaw out. I'm not making any bread tonight. I like my uh, my big fork here. That's what I do my uh, my batters and my biscuit dough and Stuff like that and uh, if you don't have one you need to get you one this is the best thing and uh, I've got it on my Amazon in my Amazon store I saw another lady on YouTube using one and I thought I have got to have one of those that looks like the best thing to use and I use everything use it for everything I turn meats with it I uh, mix up my biscuit dough with it, cut in my butter or shortening. I like it a lot better than I do that pastry blender. And it's called a blending fork. And you can get different styles, but this is the one I liked. Is that not a beautiful sound? Just love it. I am going to salt and pepper the onions a little bit. So I salt and peppered the pork chops. Not much because we're using chicken broth, but the chicken broth that I'm using is low sodium. So I was able to get some. I don't know why sometimes I can't find it. It's like with buttermilk. Uh, Stephanie and I look for buttermilk and we'll want the whole fat. And you can't find it sometimes. You can get the low fat, which is fine. It's a lot thinner. But um, I don't know why the whole uh, buttermilk is hard to find. I 
Do you have items like that in your area? I you have a hard time finding. That's been our biggest thing. And I tell you what, I know the price of eggs went up. They seem to be coming down a little bit here anyway. And a couple of weeks ago, I was in the grocery store and I needed eggs and it was almost empty. I don't know what the problem was. Was there a run on chickens or something? I couldn't figure that one out. Okay, now I'm going to move this bowl carefully. Because I do not want to wear that grease. And I do not want to clean it up from my kitchen floor. I'll be here all night cleaning that up. hard enough to clean it up off your counters and your stove. Oh yes, that's coming. Coming along so pretty. As my granny had said, it's so pretty. Yeah, Father's Day is coming up soon. And I want to wish early all the fathers a very happy, happy Father's Day because if all goes well and we get to go on our vacation um, that's going to be the weekend we're going to be traveling to come home but uh, I lost my father many years ago and uh, so if you have yours cherish him and your mama's too Okay, so I think these have browned plenty. Browned plenty. Have you ever heard it saying like that? Browned plenty. Yes. So I'm going, well, let me show it to you. See? Isn't that beautiful? So you know what I'm going to do now? And those onions and peppers are getting soft. I might let them cook a little more. Let's do that. Yeah, I change my mind a lot when I'm cooking. Do you do that? I'm careful not to scrape the bottom of my pan, especially with the tines of this fork. How about I change over to my wooden spoon and I can get down in there. And you know, if you have anything to stick, now and then, I'll have something stick in the bottom of my pan, like I do right now. That's just good stuff. But uh, once I add that liquid, it's going to come right up. Oh, yeah. Taking those pork chops out and getting those onions on down in there. Done the trick. And that hadn't even been a couple of minutes. Let's just go ahead and put our... Oops our chicken broth in. I'm using chicken broth because I didn't want to use beef and that's all I had was chicken and beef. I didn't think to look today to see if I could find pork. And you know what I wished I had put in here? It's not too late. Y'all give me a second. Ta-da! I've got some garlic base. And we're going to put a little bit of that in here. Not a lot. It'll melt down in this uh, broth. It'll be fine. We're not going to put a whole lot. But a half a teaspoon. And that's going to be, be a plenty. And that heat will pick back up in just a minute. Yeah, I've got to find me another one of these. This one is just not getting as hot anymore as I want it to. Can y'all tell me a good one to get? This is Oster. And I got this at Walmart many years ago. I tell you what, when we were remodeling this kitchen, it certainly came in handy. 
I cooked between this, my Copper Chef, because I had the um, the burner for it. Uh, the Copper Chef pans are the only thing that worked on it. And I had my Instapot, and my Instapot rice cooker. And that's all we had. We had some of the best meals, and we cooked in the garage because that's where we lived other than our bedroom. And that's another thing you can go back. And I do have a few videos from where I cooked in the garage. I called it garage cooking. That's exactly what it was. Now, I am going to... Oh, oh my goody come off. But you know it's done in that pan. It'll be all right. We're going to nestle this back down in there. And we're going to get that simmering. We're going to take some of that peppers and onions. And get them up on top of our pork chops. Yeah, I keep thinking I see Miss Patchy out of my peripheral vision, but I'm not. She was not having any part of me sleeping the other night. She hopped up on the bed, pounced on me, and trying to wake me up, which I was awake. I just didn't let her know. And then she got on top of me, needing, needing her biscuits. And uh, after I didn't respond to her, she finally laid down and went to sleep beside me. But she don't sleep with us all the time, but now and then she will. But she was trying her best to get me up. She was ready to play. We're going to let this simmer. And then we're going to have us a delicious dinner. And I'm going to let this simmer probably another 10 minutes, maybe. And that broth is going to get thick. Thicker, not thick like gravy, but it's going to tighten up. And then when Pop Jones gets home, we're going to eat. I just wanted you to join me while I cook today. I didn't want to cook by myself. I wanted to have a little company. So I wanted you with me, and I'm so happy you're joining me. I enjoy each and every one of you and our time we spend together. And if you haven't subscribed, please think about subscribing. Like, share, and hit the notification bell so you'll know when I put out my next video. And I hope I'll see you soon. Bye, everybody.